Well, Guinea's sixth knockout stage game at the Africa Cup of Nations uh, sees them go out once again a damn squib. They've lost all of their previous uh, five knockout games at the Africa Cup of Nations. And that's the key instigator, the man of the match, Musa Barrow of Gambia, who scored that all-important goal. Uh, but the main story of the Scorpion side has been the teamwork um, and how the players have almost, you know, game after game, been swapping um, and changing hands, exchanging hands in being uh, a key player, a key role player in the game. I think he understood that even with his technical ability, he's made sure to bring in other players into play. Yeah. Because when you want to call all the action onto you, then you don't have space to breathe. I think you're looking at uh, both Barrows, you look at uh, uh, Jalo, Jalo also. They understand their roles that in transition, they are the key players when the team has to go from defense to attack. And they stuck to their roles and they executed them with such poise because you'd find them dropping back to defend, especially in the first half. Whenever they lost possession, you'd see them coming back. As soon as they win the ball, they don't even have to write a letter to say, can I come, can I go? They just go. And because the whole team understands their roles, they're able to play the ball quickly to them. And when they do that, you see the midfield uh, getting close. I think, um, uh, uh, Tinashe, we were saying that uh, Dabo joins mm. so nicely. Then it looks like they are taking with four, but he actually stays just a little bit behind. Then either Mare or Bob joins their attack for them to attack almost with five. Yeah, I think you have touched on the major components which really helps this team. You know, the tracking back of Musa and uh, WFS playing on the other wing. Because, you know, sometimes... As wingers, you don't expect these players to track back. They always mm -hmm. want to try and cheat and have the ball in, in the danger zones of the opponents. So the sacrifice which these two are doing is actually helping the team. Because now they still have numbers when defending. And they can also represent themselves with the, in those yeah. positions when they are created forward. Yeah. Were you concerned when um, coming into this game, their top goal scorer with two goals, Abli Jalo, and uh, a man who has a knack, of course, of scoring those all-important goals at the death, um, when he, of course, um, had to be subbed out, Carly coming in, were you concerned, or did you know they have another arsenal in their ranks, which is, of course, Musa Barrow? Yeah, Musa Barrow, I think, is the talisman. You know, yeah. coming to this tournament, he was the player to watch. Although he started very slow, but he was doing some great things in the game. He was the one keeping the ball you know, to, for, for the team to come and then um, initiate the attack, you know. Um, so, so far, he's been doing an incredible job. Don't forget he's hit the pole twice through a free kick. You know, he was unlucky there, but you could see he's got that quality, you know. But at the right time, he showed he's the big player among the team. When the time was needed, he was able to deliver today, and that was mm. what everybody saw today. Yeah, we're going to take a